What's up, everybody? It's the Digital World Podcast. And quick update on the Flare Network. So, Hugo posted this um, three days ago about his proposals on um, option one, option two, uh, and option three of the Flare Network. Now, you can go ahead and scrap that. He said, I made a mistake invoking governance over the distribution. I am canceling the proposals. Distribution will remain 15% and then 3% per month. So you'll get your initial 15% when the network goes live. Then you'll get 3% thereafter. If tax creates sell pressure, then a governance proposal can can be submitted by the community to curtail the distribution. Then he said, people who are concerned about tax will be able to opt out of the 3% monthly distributions. Make sure you're aware of your responsibilities to pay tax in each of your countries. Okay. And so, yeah, I mean, I applaud him for coming out and um, admitting that, yeah, maybe he shouldn't have uh, left to the community. But at the same time, it allowed us to have a conversation and come together and trying to figure out what would be best. Um, so we thank him for his hard work for what he's done. He's doing a phenomenal job over there at Flare Networks. And, um, yeah, this happens and I, you know, I, I think it's a great sign of, of humility also admitting that, you know, maybe this didn't work out, work, work out just like he planned, but nevertheless, he, we, we want the best for the Flare Networks and, and, what it will provide and so this will be this so the distribution the distribution will remain the same it will be 15 percent on initially on the first drop and then you'll get three percent thereafter so nothing has changed on that front and we will keep you updated if anything does change moving on we have here the european central bank posted this they said Digital Euro would be a powerful push for digitalization, offering a safe, costless means of payment and allowing intermediaries to provide services with Digital Euro inside. And this was said by Panetta, executive board member. Goes on to say that central banks are a better place to protect privacy and digital payments. We have no commercial interest in user data and we could ensure that nobody in the payment chain has access to all the information. For small amounts, we could allow anonymous payments. The experimentation done so far gives us a preliminary sense of the pros and cons of different technologies. If the governing council gives us a green light in July, we'll start a formal investigation phase focusing on on the design of a digital euro. So folks, this this is, I mean, they're already talking about a digital design. This is ready to go i am telling you like this july the u.s is gonna release a paper on a digital dollar and so and they're releasing it for public comment and we know that when they ask for public comment that means it's a done deal it's already in the books it's it they've already designed it they've done it and it's just a matter of time before it's released. I would not be surprised if we, we start seeing digital currencies roll out in the next couple years. I, I don't know how soon it could happen, but I believe that in the coming crisis, that's going to hit not just here nationally, but globally. This They're going to come out with digital currencies as a solution. And, you know, that's, you're essentially giving up, you know, all your freedom with um, how you, uh, with, with, you know, your privacy of what you buy and sell, for example. Because now it could be, you you essentially have an account with the Federal Reserve because they're the ones that are issuing the digital dollars and they'll be able to see real time the transactions that a person is making. If you have it, if you have interest of how that would work, I'd highly recommend watching George Gammon's videos 
on how a digital dollar would work or it, you know <laughs> what he calls a fed coin and so it's very interesting so and it's coming soon moving on here we see xrp crypto will post that sec commissioner has to purse says xrp might not be a security well you don't say <laughs> let's see here so it says when asked about xrp's regulatory status during her recent interview the usc uh, us sec has to purse on their cryptocurrency doesn't necessarily have to be a security if its issuer gets sued by the agency um she says an enforcement action means that the asset being sold as an investment contract. When you think about a crypto asset as being a security, what we're doing is what we're saying it's being sold as part of an investment, an investment contract, which means that there are promises being made around the sale of this asset. It doesn't mean that this asset itself necessarily has to be a security. It means that it's being sold as a security. And so we know that the case that the SEC brought against Ripple and its digital asset was with the sales of XRP that are, are, are deemed as being a security. So not they, they aren't it, it, they're not saying that the asset itself that's not what the whole a uh, lawsuit is about. And so this is very interesting that I mean we, we've known this for a while now and so, but we're I mean this case is still going on. It's on ensuing and it's just a matter of time before we find out. We know the use case and the utility that the asset brings, but this is still, you know, a wrench that's thrown our way. And and before long, I think here's the thing. Gary Gensler is waiting for Congress to set up some regulatory framework in which he can go ahead and and, and put forth some regulation uh, of how he sees this digital asset space and once that's said and done it's going to come to all the digital assets all these cryptos and so you want to position yourself in the best way possible with things that have value that are working with governments i know dai is always talking about um buying assets that are being used by government entities that have utility i know the world economic forum recently put out a paper on six digital assets that they think have a really good use cases anyway moving on now anders l wrote this um this is miguel v as he said with 2017 now well underway this is a while back we remain hard at work focused on adding exciting new features to the rcl and further improving the performance stability and quality of the Ripple to open source code base. More, most importantly, we remain more committed than ever to the simple goal of making XRP the world's reserve digital currency. And this was by Miguel Villas, and, and Anders L says, the more speculators abandon the vision and the lower their price targets get, the more likely it is to happen, in his opinion. I believe their goal hasn't changed. And it is true. Don't lose sight of the vision of the goal. Now, Robert Kiyosaki wrote, tweeted this. He said, the biggest bubble in world's history is getting bigger. Biggest crash in world history coming. Buying more gold and silver, waiting for Bitcoin to drop to 24K. Crash is best time to get rich. Take care. Now, we know there's a massive bubble everywhere. These, The government's been printing and printing and printing. And, you know, the, at one point you got to pay the piper. And it's going to happen. And that's why you got to have some cash on the sideline also you got to be smart with your investments and i always talk about portfolio management it's important each person has their own plan but you got to execute your plan and one example of how our, our economy is struggling is uh, for example american airlines that have canceled hundreds of flights over the weekend um, due to staffing shortages maintenance and other issues so people some people rather just not work because they're getting, if not, you know, the same amount of money from unemployment or uh, or stimulus checks as they would if they were working. And so 
Now we see businesses competing with government pay, payroll, I guess you can call it. Um, and so it's creating a distortion in the economy. And these distortions um, have consequences. And people don't see that coming. And it's going to catch them by surprise. But you can't just, you know, have all these stimulus checks and all these unemployment um, payments from the government, you know, uh, without any consequences. And a pay the piper moment is coming. So be ready, but here we're we're here to learn and we're here to uh, see things before they happen and place our bets on the right side. So hope this episode has brought you some value. Like and subscribe, comment below. What are your thoughts? As always, I like hearing from you. This is the Digital World Podcast and I'll see you in the next episode.